the notion of justice is thought to be inherent to the human being, to living beings. So there's a way in which we have to have justice just to survive. And then when you unpack it around praxis and culture and heritage and language, all of the elements that establish our identities, it starts to make sense that our research is supposed to help us uncover the mysteries that surround all of those issues that identify us. So I see the theme as being foundational on one hand to our future as a civilization. And also at the same time, I see it as reaching back into the past to achieve the justice that the human entity needs. How we accessed knowledge and education in the past doesn't seem real relevant in the current economy. So we need to do the research that's going to show us how we do it now as things have changed around us and made access more of an issue. That's where the notion of justice comes in. It is just, it is fair for people to have access to the resources they need, yet traditionally, historically, disenfranchised people haven't. As resources get more difficult to access, that doesn't improve unless we know more about how to do it. So there are people I know of who are researching how um, native children in rural communities, isolated communities, who don't have access to some basic resources, have limited access to a certain kind of knowledge, but unlimited access to another kind of knowledge that moves their people forward. Comparing those and uh, establishing the role that research and education play in, in making that accessible is fascinating, but it's important because it's about justice. The research that's being done right now by not only some of our more seasoned scholars, but some of our younger and emerging scholars is not only fascinating, I think it's critical to the field, but beyond, well beyond the field. To me and to my students, this is what we talk about all the time, research for the sake of research gives us a great deal in terms of knowledge, but unless we do something with that knowledge, unless we apply it, we don't really change anything. So. I would say to my students or anyone else who is considering submitting, please, you must submit because we've got to further our, it's not an agenda, but it's for our survival. It's for justice. We're never going to achieve justice if we don't learn. People who submit and present at AERA teach us, and we've got to learn or we will not achieve justice. So I, I, would, I would encourage I will encourage my students and my colleagues to submit their work so that we can learn.